Prada. I am so impressed with this purchase. I'm so excited to sell my unboxes with you and just tell you what I think about this bag overall. If you guys have been here before, my name is Jenny. I'm just a little obsessed when it comes to handbags. I love anything that makes my heart sing. And today we're gonna be doing a little review slash unboxing slash just excitement overall. But again, like if you guys don't follow me, I do hauls, unboxings, reviews, comparisons, things like that. So I try to release one to two videos per week. If you guys like, please consider subscribing and drop by and say hi on Instagram. Let's just get into my latest purchase. Again, it is a product piece. If you guys have seen my latest video, which is my current wish list video, you'll know that this is on there. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what that is, but I don't know how to explain it. I'm just so excited. So before I get started, this bag is a bag. I made a list of all the bags I wanted, but I really took time to think about what I wanted because I didn't want to waste my money and just have another piece standing there and not being used. So I tried my best to really think about the things I wanted in an everyday bag. So this is what I wanted. I wanted an everyday bag that I could just use freely, didn't have to worry about, um, that could work in any season, work with any outfit. That was the criteria. Um, so obviously a lot of the seasonal pieces that I had on my wish list, a lot of bags I just felt like, you know, are trendier, I actually eliminated. So I ended up with the Prada piece. Now, the thing with this bag is, they actually don't make it anymore in Prada. Um, it was something I think that was from maybe like a year, maybe a, two years ago. So I couldn't find it in the boutique anymore. And honestly, even if I did, they have a newer version of this. It was very expensive. So actually I was able to find this on the real real, but it was a full set. Um, and it was for a really, really great price for the condition. Now I've never purchased from Real Real before. You guys know that most of the time I source my own bags. Um, however, if I do buy bags outside of my sourcing, I will buy from Fashion File. I'm a huge fan of Fashion File. Um, but you know, I couldn't find any that fit my criteria on Fashion File. Therefore, I picked it up from the Real Real. But there's a lot of things I've heard from the, about the Real Real saying that things come in as, um, they don't do a good job authenticating or they don't um, necessarily um, give you descriptions and details in their product pages. So sometimes you'll get the bag and it's in worse condition than stated. Um, and most of the time they don't do refunds. However, I think if there's a discrepancy, you can probably file a report of some sort. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is a non-refundable bag. The pictures were honestly not great. The description was very like, basic. So honest, I didn't know what I was going to get. So I was very nervous, but to my surprise, it was everything and more when I opened it. So like I said, it came in a full package like this. I did unbox her cause I was just too, I needed to know like the condition. So I do apologize. Um, but again, I would just show you like everything it came in. So I don't have the bag in here because I'm using the bag already, which means I can do a review for you as well. But the bag came with the original dust bag right over here, which is amazing. I love a good dust bag and it came with all the pieces. It came with the product booklet. It came with um, like the tag. It came with the actual real, real um, tag and it also came with the original Prada booklet. So this bag to me seemed like it was really, wasn't really used, right? Here's um, the accessory that came with the bag. I'll show you in a little bit, but look, it even came with the Prada um, belt. This was in here and all the original tissue paper. So I mean, like it feels like it just came out of the boutique, which obviously I'm thrilled about. I do have a question for you guys because I'm not familiar with the real real. You know how Fashion File gives you a tag that says like this bag has been authenticated by Fashion File, um, even though it doesn't have like an entropy certificate or anything like that. Do you guys know if real real gives you something similar? Because besides that tag um, that came with it, I didn't get anything that necessarily stated it. However, I did get the booklets and stuff and me um, having back crush, I definitely do my due diligence of authenticating and this did come back as authentic. However, 
I didn't get that. So I just want to be sure. And I'm curious. They usually give you that. If you guys purchase from Real Real or is more familiar with what they provide with their bags, can you drop me a comment or DM me and let me know? I would love to know if it actually comes with the Real Real certificate of some sort. Okay, but here is the actual bag, if you probably can see from the back. And it's a Clio um, flap, but in the medium size. So this is not the, so this flap bag comes in three sizes. One is the mini, one is the small, and then the other is this medium size, which is like the biggest size. Um, I, the mini is adorable, but honestly, like I need an everyday bag. That bag is more just as a vanity. Like I wouldn't be able to fit anything in it. The small, I felt like looked cheap for some reason. I just felt like if you're going to get this type of bag, get it in a bigger size. The small just didn't feel like the amount that it cost. Um, and then the other Clio came without a flap, right? It's just the like the open look. I didn't love that one either. I thought it was like a very basic bag. And for that price, I think it runs like 25 to three something. I just didn't think it was worth it. They do have a newer version of this over here. Um, and the, this is the difference, right? So this bag comes with the you know it's just same thing brushed leather i wanted a black one because again i wanted it for every day um silver hardware it says prada here it's a adjustable drop but this drop honestly works perfect it has this bottom is actually the bigger size is thick enough so you can actually fit a good amount but the biggest um thing i loved about the bag is the fact that it has this huge like back pocket in the back where the new version is the same size um, but doesn't have a back pocket um, for, and that's a little odd, right? But a great part too, it comes with this strap here. So you can actually make this bag into a crossbody. So right now I'm wearing her as a shoulder, but if I want to, I can easily like switch out the straps and then turn her into a crossbody. However, I do think that this bag just looks better as a shoulder because of the size. Um, I did add this cute little Pachaco um, little bag charm because like I, don't normally love back charms, but lately I've been just a little obsessed. This one has a little mirror in the back. It's so cute. It's, because it's in the back, you don't actually really notice it. And when you flip her around, just a little cuteness. So I love that about this bag. Um, but the new ones, I think retail for 35-ish hundred, um, but again, no back pocket. Now this one before when it was in stores, I think it retailed for 4,000 or 4,200 which honestly is insane to me. Um, I got this for half of that, which to me is like such a good deal. And I have been loving her so far, which is crazy because I, if you guys know me, I don't like shoulder bags normally. I definitely prefer a good crossbody, which this one does offer as well. But for some reason, this one as a shoulder works really well. Like I took her shopping, I take her on errands and it doesn't fall off my shoulders at all. Even when I have the baby with me, it's really easy and I can easily go in there and grab what I need and not worry about it. And it's just been like such a good one, but I'm going to show you what fits because this bag fits so much and it's the perfect, perfect size. It's the size great for every day, right? It's not small, it's not huge, it's leather, but it's still light enough. So I have my handy dandy charger. Um, I carry this in all my bags because my phone, you never know when you need a little charge. I also have my little pouch here I use for a catch-all. I have like alcohol wipes, lactates. Let me show you what this looks like inside. So inside that little pocket is where I always put my wallet because I am using my Vivian um, limited edition key clay. This is very delicate. So if I were to throw in my bag and rub against other items, the um, print will come off. So I always keep this in its own pocket. So I use that back pocket to store her in. That way it protects it and it doesn't have anything like rubbing against it. So hopefully I'll maintain longer. Um, I have my Fenty powder. Again, you guys know if you see my other what's my bags, I carry that everywhere. It's like a blotting powder. It works really well. My lotion, my favorite one. This is um, like a Japanese lotion I use that smells divine. I have this little pouch in here. This is um, my Diptyque 
catch all pouch they give you these two when you buy the candles and um they usually give you like samples and like gifts in here so i use this for catch all but i keep my shishado sunscreen i keep my um hair scrunchie my oh my the cap came off dior lip glow that um my strawberry birds bee so i just keep that in there i have my sanitizer i have oh this is my sunglass case this came with one of my gucci um, glasses but i usually whatever sunglass i'm using i usually throw in here it just helps protect it um honestly that's oh and then i have another hair scrunchie in here what else that's all I have in here and that's all I absolutely ever need to carry. You can see like it is really roomy in there. I can fit actually so much more, but I just don't need to carry that much more. And then my phone, I'll just show you my case, fits perfectly in this back pocket. See that? So it is like such a good bag. It's not as delicate as it seems. So when I got it, it said that there was scratches and stuff on it, but I clean it up. I use like a um, leather cleaner and I just conditioned it. And then I like just, I always clean all my bags um, that are pre-loved. And honestly, I don't see anything on it. There might be like, maybe like a small scratch if I look super closely, but I don't really see anything. I don't think this leather, even though it's brushed, is as delicate as like a lambskin or what it seems. Um, I just use it normally and it's been great. I mean, I've only had this bag for about a week now, but definitely it's just been so good. And look at, here's the side, it says Prada, all the details. Um, and what's great is when I wear her on the shoulder, let me show you. Here is where the drop is. And when I need to actually get something, I just go in here, grab my wallet and then the magnetic just snaps back. See that? It's like so easy to use. I don't need to like fumble and look for it, which is like a lot of like my YSL and other bags. I have to like kind of match up the magnetic with this one. It just snaps into place. It is amazing. I wear her like this normally. Again, I have the option to wear her crossbody. Overall pros, it's a great everyday bag. I love the back pocket. I love the magnetic snap, how it goes back and forth. I love the fact that it's like slim over here, but it actually fits a good amount. And it's not, even though it's full leather for the most part um, bag, it doesn't weigh my shoulders down. Um, and I love the fact that I got her for such a good deal and it's a full set. Um, so I would say that's the pro. The negatives is I don't really, honestly, I don't have any cons right now. Other than that, that's just a quick little review slash kind of unboxing slash um, obsessed with this bag. It's, I sometimes I buy things and immediately I use it like a week and I'm like, oh, I wish I would have just not bought it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this one I absolutely love. Highly recommend if you're looking for a basic everyday bag that's not too loud. You know what I mean? This is still kind of very minimal. Like get this bag. It's so good. Um, but get the one, the old version, the old model. Don't get the new one in stores for 3,500, which is like 4,000 almost in with taxes because that one doesn't have a back pocket. Like you can't just throw your phone in there. You know what I mean? So obsessed, obsessed, you guys. Thank you always for watching my videos and sticking through this review. I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.